Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design this wonderful app icon in Adobe Illustrator in a matter of minutes. I will show you how to create this colorful mesh from the raster image and then we will create the actual design on top. So let's get started right here on tutorials.net. So first thing first, let's create a new document Control n or command n on your mac and i'm gonna size this document with the 800 width and 800 height click create to start a new document then we need to position our raster image you can use any query in your search box uh, from multicolor background from multicolor wallpaper rainbow wallpaper and so on and so forth so i gonna use this kind of image so shift ctrl p shift command p or just file place and then choose your image i'm gonna work with this colorful background blue red green and yellow I'll click place and position the background so far so good let's let me resize it to 800 width so it's a uh, fits of entire canvas and i'm ready to go and next step is to blur this uh, raster image in order to do this we need to go to the effect blur gaussian blur in this effect says the radius to 50 pixels it also depends on the size of your image check preview to see the result and click ok now i'm gonna Mask this image with a round rectangular mask. Of course, you can follow the guide, guidelines of EOS icon and then load the actual, actual spherical mask on vitorials.net for actual image. But I'm gonna save you and my time, grab the rectangular tool and create first of all a rectangle holding shift key next step is to position it properly and grab the direct selection tool and holding this bullet round rectangles to around 100 points so far so good i am ready to select everything by drawing a marquee and then use your my right mouse button key to make clipping mask so we are dealing with the round rectangular mask now and the raster image inside and we need to select only this image so head over to the layers panel let me change the panel options so you can see it more clearly so let's go to the actual mask select this mask then deselect this uh, select this mask click on the chevron icon to open this mask and select the actual raster image only raster image should be selected now with this raster image go to the object object create gradient mesh in open dialog box i'm gonna leave all values as a default so i have the rows set to four columns to four appearance to flat and highlight to 100 percent click preview and click OK. So as you can see, we achieve some kind of pale colors. And in order to remedy this, let me go to Essential Classic first of all. And from the my control panel that I just bring up, I'm gonna use Recolor Artwork tool. Click this tab, Edit tab, and then. Uh, click this icon to leak harmony colors and I'm gonna boost the actual saturation of this mesh and brightness of course click OK uh, next thing is to provide some logic in my case I'm gonna change some colors here in the north in order to do this I first gonna set the layer options to black so I can see the actual nodes that I selected with the direct selection tool now select this node with blue 
and change it using the color panel if you can find your color panel go to the windows color so within this color panel i'm gonna select something like orangey here then i'm gonna navigate here and get rid of this greenish color and provide some more apple uh, uh, yellow uh, from this i'm gonna set more green yellow and for that i'm gonna here use some like green next in my list on okay um let's say on this orangey i'm gonna use only cold colors on my bottom so um i'm gonna navigate to purple provide the purple and here i want to select some kind of maybe even pinkish not not pinkish maybe uh, some something really dark okay and uh, here i want to smooth the transition by providing some more smooth color just like so so i achieve the excellent result i'm pretty satisfied and i'm ready to go to the next step in our tutorial create the actual design in order to do this we need to grab the ellipse tool or click l hold shift hold alt or simply shift to select uh, to draw a circle i'm gonna position a circle on the top right maybe here so within this uh, keep selecting the circle and head over to the gradient panel uh, i'm gonna undock this panel to focus more clearly click uh, click on the gradient slider to apply the gradient to the fill then click g on your keyboard to uh, bring up the to grab the gradient tool and align your gradient from the top left to bottom right and on bottom right should be your darkest color okay uh, next scene is to select actual uh, black color and uh, using this opacity slider set it to zero so we have white on the top left and 100 transparent or zero opaque on the top uh, bottom right this is what i get and since i get an opaque color on my top left i'm gonna arrange other duplicates accordingly by grabbing the first rotate tool so grab the rotate tool and uh, the way you position the cursor depends whether you want to create a hollow center or not if you want the hollow center like i did before in this composition you need to position the cursor outside your circle somewhere here in this area if you want to uh, hollow circle and create a fillet you need to position uh, this cursor on the edge of your circle uh, in this case i'm gonna create this circle as uh, the cursor the point of my transformation to the center holding alt or option key so hold alt or option key on your mark click your left mouse button key to bring up the rotate dialog box set the angle to negative 30 again it depends whether where you uh, set your transparent part if your transparent part is on the bottom right like it is for me you need to set your angle to negative 30 if it's on the top left for example you need to set your angle to 30 and it also depends on what how many duplicates you want to create in my case i'm gonna create 11 duplicates and totally 12 circle click copy to create first duplicate and then ctrl d command d to repeat this operation over and over again until you have your 12 uh, circles next thing is to well we need to first lock a background artwork by clicking on this free space between um, icon and ball and uh, next i'm gonna draw a marquee and select everything else ctrl g command g to uh, create a group then 
I'm going to scale it uh, down and uh, next thing is to create a actual duplicate control C control B to create the duplicate on the bottom I'm gonna use the pathfinder panel to unite this but before I want to see what I am uh, achieving during this transformation so I need to log first of all the my original file and then I'm gonna also hide it so this is my duplicate let's see uh, first of all run a unite pathfinder command if you can find your pathfinder go to the windows uh, path uh, finder uh, run a unite command and next grab the uh, shape build tool click shift m to grab the shape build tool and then with the shift builder tool we need to get rid of this hollow center we receive this kind of shape we need to then grab the and uh, set a solid color to this uh, shape double click on to bring up the color picker and uh, position it to the white, white area so absolute wife all f on your hexadecimal value click ok next thing is to go to transparency panel windows transparency and from this within this transparency panel find this drop down with the blending modes and set it to multiply to render this white shape to nothing and now we are ready to apply our effect so let's go to the effects stylize drop shadow because we are going to add a drop shadow effect and for this drop shadow, I set the blending mode to multiply opacity to 80%, x offset value to 0 points to position it right in the middle horizontally, y offset value to 15 points to position it on the bottom of our shape, and blur value to 11 points. Click OK and click preview to see the result. I'm satisfied, satisfied with this result and last but not least we need to bring up uh, again our actual flower so this is how my friends we can design this up icon in a matter of minutes in Adobe Illustrator and I hope you enjoy this tutorial if you do give us some up subscribe to my channel and as always Go to tutorials.net for more Adobe Illustrator and Gravity Designer tutorials. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.